Hello guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel Nihon Kara Konbawa. Herzlich willkommen. So guys, I give you a fresh update on Plug Power. The ticker is PLUG. I made already here a couple of videos on the ticker. This ticker here is part of my official YouTube watch list. So I cover here these kind of yeah stocks, hashtag short squeeze stocks on this channel. But of course we have here much, much more squeezes in the market when you scroll down here. Or see this list and you can see these stocks here are very popular a lot of uh, well-known stocks so I have a lot of yeah hidden stocks in my pocket which also have huge squeeze potential I will show you something on that later guys so let's first start with plug power and yeah my, my latest video here or my last video on plug power at least the official one which I didn't make for members was on the 1st of April and I said will this support hold guys because we have here some potential support in the chart and I can directly say, guys, that the support did not hold. So I will guide you here through this video. What is happening next? In my opinion, of course, this is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, guys. This is my opinion based on the chart, based on the technicals, guys. Yeah, so I cannot predict the future. But we have here chart patterns which can at least show us where are the next price levels. Yeah, And if you know how trading works and if you respect that everything is based here on algos, uh, and high frequency trading guys, I would say 90% of the price action what you see here in the chart is not made by human. Make your own due diligence, you know, find your own trading strategy. The main purpose here of my channel is to educate people in trading and I do that by using here short squeeze stocks, yeah. Plug power is also some kind of short squeeze stock because when a stock can have here a price run from 98 cents up to $75 guys this is of course a huge squeeze even bigger than AMC and AMC is a very well uh, very well known stock here in the stock market but this also ripped here of course it took a little bit more time but also here very high squeeze potential the question is if can plug power squeeze again yes or no guys if you don't uh, have experience in trading what you need to know and need to respect yeah it's not only enough to read the chart of course when you experienced yeah you can read a lot of signals and we have a lot of trading patterns this is not the point guys but what we have to know is what are we dealing with yeah and when we talk about plug power then we are dealing with a short interest guys of the public tradable float of 29.5 percent so almost 30 percent of the float is short so that means you have a very powerful and dangerous opponent against you if you are a long trader if you have a long position in plug power which means you buy at the price x and want to sell for a higher price you need to know guys that 30 percent of the people who trading the float here of plug power they are short and this is huge this is absolute unusual and yes when you have constellations like that that could lead somehow into a short squeeze but in the situation of plug power guys i would not bet on that because we have here delusion ongoing i will show you that here and as i said a very powerful opponent here uh, a group of traders institutions market makers call them whatever you want which are short on plug power and they will fight until the last breath before they close their short positions so what does that mean we have now here a public tradable float uh, for plug power from 684 million shares uh, when the float was about 500 million shares, Plug Power announced, you can see here, we talked here about 540 million shares, then Plug Power announced that they will dump additional 1 billion shares into the market, guys. So in future, we will have a float of one point, around 1.5 billion shares. We don't know when they will do that. So how much shares, how many shares they drop into the market at, at which date. I think uh, there is no information on that. But just keep that in mind, guys, that... The float here in 2020 was 455 million shares. So when we compare that with today's situation, it is not too bad, the dilution until today, but they will dilute the stock uh, even more. And that, of course, is something that the short sellers want because the bigger the float, yeah, the more difficult it is to find buyers for all these shares and the more easy is it to short the stock down. So now, now let's enable the drawings here and let's find out what happened here. In between <clears throat> so when I talked about my last video so here is a potential trend line so of course when we see the overall chart picture guys I don't need to tell you that that we just creating here lower highs so since the squeeze here in 2021 or the top of the squeeze we just building here lower highs guys so nothing nothing bullish in this chart but we have some potential price levels where we at least could maybe see a rebound incoming 
And when we see the overall chart structure here for plug power, I can even extend that it will still fit. Then you can see we have this white trend channel pattern, which is still a bullish pattern. Yeah. So as long as we don't trade below this white trend line here, we have still a bullish pattern. You can already see here this big orange cross or arrow here, uh, sorry, arrow in my chart, which means I expect more downside to income guys, because here was for me a last point of support before we see much, much lower prices incoming. So I will delete this now to clear up the chart a little bit. And one of the other reasons why I think we have to tank down because we have open down gaps here in the chart, which need to get filled. And if you don't see my previous videos, the chance to close these orange lines here, the open gaps guys, is about 90%. And that means even the price of 15 cents in future is possible for plug power. I know that nobody will believe me that. Everybody will say, this guy is crazy. That will never come down to 15 cents, guys. There have been stocks in the market, yeah, which squeezed also from $2 to $72. And when the price was at around $60, I said, this stock has to come down to $1.80. Nobody believed me. They yelled at me. They were angry. Guys, one and a half years later, it happened. The price was back down, yeah, and it's even lower now because of the open gap. So this is something that you have to keep in mind. I don't say that has to happen, but technically, the chance that we close this open gaps here is about 90% and we just have here the proof one more time when plug power gapped up you can see we had this really big pump here here was one of the open gaps here you can see that we had this big pump everybody was bullish here retail investors with no experience thought now we see here something happen and don't get me wrong that was a nice pump here we had a 127% squeeze for plug power but we gapped up guys and this is a problem technically this is yeah just not allowed you can google or can ask chat gpt why does open gaps need to get filled yeah and i say need to then i'm talking about 90 percent you will not find the correct answer for me is everything based on supply and demand and when this squeeze happens this is an unusual trading activity guys this don't last too long and you can see we closed this gap right yesterday guys right yesterday here with this candle the gap has been filled yeah this is what it is so we can delete this open gap in the chart also you can see this orange line here was also one open gap in the chart this has also been filled and this is our problem when we zoom out here for plug power so loading loading here so when we zoom out i think here are no more open gaps in the daily chart this is good so here are no open gaps here was one gap this is already filled sorry that was not intentional so, and the problem is guys, when we zoom out here, of course you can see no open gaps, everything clear. So technically this looks good. Yeah, you may, may think it looks good, but when we go back here guys, yeah, 2013 and believe me guys, believe me, even from 2013, you would say, ah, this is already 10 years, 20 years, 30 years ago. That doesn't matter guys. I had already charts with 20 year old gaps and those gaps also got filled. Sooner or later it will happen guys. 15 cents, yeah, keep that just in mind. Don't want to scare you, but don't be surprised if at one day plug power is trading back at 15 cents. Mark my words. So now we talk about the potential price levels here. What is going on in the chart? So as I said, for me, most important is this trend, this trend lines here or this trend channel, these white lines, which you can see here in the chart. I will mark that a little bit more visible. So guys, this is where we are now. Yeah, this is our main trend channel, which in which we, I think, will trade in. We have this main resistance line here, the red line in the chart, which was supporting the price. You can see this line here is something like a support and I, we still have support here. So even we had some fake outs here, we are still trading above this trend line. So let's now concentrate here based on the algos. What are our next price levels? And that would mean that would mean based on this red trend line here, plug power should test $2.32. I, I mean, it depends on the day, but $2.32 and it was already here. $2.26 was already here the low. So you can see we will come down here back one more time in my opinion to retest this algo trend line and then latest here at $1.45. I hope something will happen and that means of course the bounce to the upside. This is what I hope for everybody who is invested here long term in plug power. So we have one green line here. Let me check this if this was in the four hours chart. No, I don't know what this line is, guys, so I will delete it. Sorry, or maybe it was in the daily chart, but it's already been closed. No, so let's forget this. So maybe copy paste error. So this is what I expect here for plug power, guys. Yeah, that we come down here and retest this algo trend line. We have one liquidity zone. You can see this green box here in the chart. 
So here everything between yeah, $1.94 and $2.98 guys is a potential liquidity zone, a bullish zone for plug power. That's why in my opinion, yeah, if you want to risk a trade, this is not a financial advice, but everything here in this zone yeah, is a potential rebound zone. As I said, guys, we have much more, much more bullish setups here in the in the uh, trading environment, in the market. Yeah, as I said, I make here the so-called hot stocks videos here. I don't know if you check them out yet, guys, here. So these hot stocks are yeah, short squeeze stocks, which my own stock program is searching in the market. I do a chart analyze on that and show these tickers here for members only. And just to give you a small example, what happened last week. This week we had this squeeze here of 205% in one day. As I said, I always talk here about squeezes in one or two days. This is my definition of a short squeeze. I want to see here a price action of 100% or more in one to three trading days. Yeah, If a stock squeeze in two years, 100%, this is for me not a short squeeze. Then one more example was this one here. This was last week, 214%. And just one more example, guys, here, this was also last week. 142 percent yeah these are the so-called hot stocks yeah i cannot make you rich you have to trade by yourself the main purpose here is to educate you in trading to show you how these stocks are tradable and of course to show you the tickers here but as i said guys for me the main purpose is to educate you if you want to see these short squeeze stocks guys the link to the membership is here in the video description or you can just go here on the main page of my channel yeah mitglied werden or join membership here and the black belt elite circle is the membership where you see these so-called hot stocks guys yeah also you can access them via patreon i just started here a few weeks ago with patreon everything is still building up here patreon.com black belt trader here the ultimate black belt membership also has access to these so-called weekly hot stocks guys yeah so now let's check out here uh, if we can make a fibonacci retracement to check what could possibly happen here for plug power so when we make this retracement here so based on this move, you can see that with what normally usually happens. This is why you had the second squeeze here. So I made now a retracement here on this price action. We retraced here perfectly to the 786. Had a small bounce here, closed the golden pocket, even retouched here the 382 level. As I said, I have a lot of uh, videos on that here for members on my channel, how that works, this Fibonacci retracement. And now, guys, we're leaving here the very important support of $2.89. This is why for me, technically, this retracement is done. And what does this retracement say, guys? We, I will keep it in the chart. I will not delete it. This retracement says, if we don't find support here, yeah, within these liquidity zones or these algo trend lines here, so if we should break in future $1.45, that means technically the next te technical point of support, guys, is 49 cents. This is not what I want. I'm not bearish, you know. I don't want you here to, to scare you. This is what the technicals are saying, yeah? And when we see how the... The chart is respecting this Fibonacci retracement here, the perfect retracement here. That's why I say this is based on algorithms, not on human. Then, guys, the potential to see that incoming is very high. Yeah, that doesn't mean that we just see a straight line here to the downside, but that means that technically, yeah, we can start to bounce here and come lower and lower. Keep that in mind. We have here this also this bullish trend channel which could hold the price. So as soon as we see a price below $1.46, guys, that would be the moment for me where I turn really, really bearish on plug power. And then, yeah, 49 cents and even 50 cents, guys, are possible. We not have the situation yet, but mark my words, that can happen as soon as we break this price level. Of course, I wish for everybody that we see here a big rebounds, that we regain here $3.30 as a price level, that we squeeze back over this trend channel and just start to short squeeze, yeah? But for now, guys, when we know the delusion, when we know the short interest, it looks not too bullish for plug power, guys. This is my opinion, as I said, not a financial advice. Yeah, if you want, guys, you can copy here my drawings. I will zoom out for you. So you can copy this algo trend line if you want. These drawings here, this is everything based on TradingView. I always use TradingView here in my videos. I'm not sponsored by TradingView, guys. This is just the program which I use for all my trades and also use here for all my videos. If you want to yeah, copy or redraw this by yourself, guys, I can give you here a discount link. Also here in the video description, you will find the link to my memberships, the link to my Patreon, and also the link to the TradingView discount here in the video description. This is this link here, guys. If you click this link, you get $15 discount on your subscription. I always recommend the plus tier. Yeah, you can also go for the premium tier if you want to play around with a lot of indicators and just explore the full content here of uh, TradingView. But in my opinion, for beginners, 
and even Advanced Traders guys, the plus subscription is enough. If you use this link, you save $15 when you check out here, guys, your subscription. Guys, that was the update on Plug Power. I wish you great success with your trades. I hope that he video was helpful for you. As I said, it's not about to scare you. It's just my opinion and just what the technicals are saying. And we, we have to respect them, guys. And the next touch point here is waiting at $2.29.13, yeah, depending on the day, guys. I wish you a great weekend, guys. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Arigato gozaimasu. Vielen Dank, viel Erfolg, alles Gute und bis zum nächsten Video. Take care, guys. Bye, bye.